Hello everyone. In the last video, I showed how to use MATLAB to solve first-order ODEs, and now I'm going to expand that idea to any order ODE. For example, let's take in consideration for now the damping oscillator. Consider this equation as the behavior of the system, where m is the mass of the block C is a damping coefficient of the water and k is the spring constant and all these coefficients are positive so in MATLAB we can always solve first order differential equations and for that reason we have to transform the second order differential equation into a system of first order ODEs. We can do this by considering y in caps y1 equals to y and y2 is equal to y prime. We take the derivative of these equations y1 prime is equal to y prime that is equal to y in caps 2 and the derivative of this is going to be equal to y caps 2 prime is equal to the second derivative of y and the second derivative of y is equal to this thing here so we put this here but we have to remember that in this system of equations, y prime is actually y2, y in caps 2, and y is y in caps 1. We don't need to use anymore this part and this part. We just use this here. So we have transformed a second order ODE into a system of first order ODEs. To solve this problem in MATLAB, we are going to create a variable f that's going to be a function at t and y caps. y caps is going to be a factor. We're going to have y1 and y2. Y2 is our Y2 here, and Y1 is of course our Y1 here. So next next step is defining the time span and the initial conditions. And then we call the function OD45 for F and these parameters. We are going to get the solution in this vector T and Y. If we are interested only in y, we just need to use this line here. However, if we want also to see the results for y prime, we have to include this line here. And that is our MATLAB code. See that the function f, the time span, initial conditions, I called c to be equal to 0.5 and k to be equal to 10 and the mass m1 so let's call function od45 and plot the results only for the position of the object so that's it very simple i'm going to introduce now another form another way to solve this So that's another way to solve. We actually now have three different lines and the rest is the same. What this line, these lines are going to do is the same thing that we have done for obtaining the system of equations and for f. So, First, we have to define a symbolic 
variable that's going to be called y, which is a function of t. And in the second line here, we are going to write our ODE. So I'm going to call div of y to, that means the second derivative of y is going to be equal to sines of equal. This constant here, this coefficient here, times the div of y1, that means it's our y prime and minus k over m times y, that's our y here. So this next one here is going to do the same thing as this one has done. So that's it, let's apply it. So that's our MATLAB code. This first line here, I will show you. Look at what's the output of it. That's exactly what we have done for for this first step. We found the system life of first order ODEs. And this this line here is going to do exactly the same. Now we define a MATLAB function of f with these variables here. Take care not to swap them. Okay, now let's call OD for a final. Let's see the final result. Oh, it seems that I have got something wrong here. Yes, it's a minus sign here. So that's it. Thanks for watching and subscribe.